to the semiconductor space. India has aggressive ambitions to enter the semiconductor race at top speed and some big names have already thrown their hat in the ring. CNBC TV 18's Jute Senate reports that uh, a lot of these targets appear achievable because allied industries that form part of the chip making supply chain already offer diversified production and improved logistic solutions. It's a good time to be a chip maker. Demand is universal and this demand has spiked in the last few years. For two years, there has been a shortage in supply from Chinese chip makers, which has added to the urgency in the market, especially because a global shortage has meant hardware and automobile companies have had to look for alternative sources. This is the opportunity India has been keen to grab onto. According to component analyst supply frame, the global semiconductor supply chain could see some easing out between July and December 2023. The good news for India is the emergence of a local manufacturing ecosystem thanks to both homegrown chip makers and overseas companies looking to enhance their China plus one strategies. A recent study by Deloitte values the Indian semiconductor market at $55 billion by 2026, with smartphones, wearables, and automotive components accounting for over 60% of chip demand. Indian companies entering the fray coupled with some cooling off in demand is leading to an overall reduction in procurement lead times for both raw materials and semiconductors themselves. Lead times, uh, yes, uh, there are uh, earlier it was uh, 90 days. Now it is coming down to 45 to 60 days, our raw material. So it is easing down. Lead times have improved by, by dramatically by, I would say, four to six weeks. Lead times have improved. Uh, but I, yes, they can be definitely better. This is not just because of diversified production, but innovations in logistics technology. DHL, for instance, has invested 2 billion euros to automate its supply chain and sharpen route planning strategies. While the company is not commenting on just how far its lead times have reduced, it admits to seeing efficiencies in operations. DHL uh, has invested a lot in new technologies. We're doing a lot of AI, machine learning, mm -hmm. the cloud enablement and all of that. Mm -hmm. So on the route planning, for example, we are now in a much better position to exactly plan our resources accordingly. These lead times could improve further as more companies take Prime Minister Modi up on his promise of a 50% subsidy, like Foxconn and Micron. In Chennai, Jude Sanat. Okay. And shifting focus to the aviation.